Hi guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to give you guys a little bit of insight on why I decided to choose the Red Eye Charger over the Red Eye Challenger. I'm also gonna throw in a couple tips about what comes with the charger that doesn't come with the Challenger. And I'm also gonna throw a couple insurance facts in there as well, just in case you're interested in what you may be paying based off of what you choose. <laughs> So guys, my car really doesn't need an introduction, but I'm going to give it an introduction anyway. So this is the 2021 Red Eye Charger Wide Body Hellcat. It comes with a 6.2 supercharged V8 engine. It's an eight speed with 797 horsepower and 707 torque. It's actually the most powerful and fastest sedan in the world apparently, lucky me. Not to mention it comes with a top speed of 203 miles per hour. The zero to 60 is only 3.6 seconds and it's doing a 10.6 in the quarter mile and that's only in stock form guys. So this is my fifth car and throughout my 23 years, it's the most beautiful car I could have ever gotten my hands on. I loved it at stock power and I honestly love it even more now. Now, before I get into why I actually chose the Red Eye Charger over the Red Eye Challenger, I wanna be sure to let you guys know that my car is lowered. I use H&R Springs to lower it just in case you're new to my channel and you were wondering. Also, my hood is not wrapped. I ordered it this way when I put my order in last year in October. And let's just say when it came in earlier this month, well, I'm sorry, earlier this year in March, I really loved how it looked. Now let's get started. So guys, first I'm gonna start off with the wheels. Personally, I don't like the standard stock wheels that come with the Red Eye Challenger. I believe the Challenger comes with either the 20 inch by 11 black aluminum wheels or the 20 inch by 10 and a half black aluminum wheels. I'm not really a fan of either. I personally like mine because it sort of has that deeper cave. They've never had these wheels before. It kind of reminds me of the regular Hellcat replicas on the older Hellcats. I personally feel like they turned it up a notch with the, the new wheels on the Red Eye Charger. And I think it looks more aggressive. Funny thing though, when I first ordered my car, I was told that it was gonna come with the two spokes, wheels that come on the Challengers mainly, and some Chargers I've seen. But I wasn't able to see the car, obviously in person, there weren't any on any dealerships because obviously they hadn't been built yet. And the ones that were built, they sold like hotcakes, so. But I was told that this was mostly the only option that I could go with that I liked. So I actually didn't like these until I got the car in person and I saw the wheels in person and I fell in love with them. So guys, let me be sure to tell you that this did not make or break whether or not I chose Charger over Challenger. It was something that I found out over time. I've never really driven a Challenger, but it, like I said, it was something that I found out over time and I felt like it was something that I could probably mention in this video. So with Charger, all you have to do is just push your fuel door open and it opens and all you have to do is just put the gas pump in. With Challenger though, you have to open the fuel door and then unscrew your fuel cap and then put the gas in. Now me personally, when I'm going to the gas station, I try to be in and out because people like to walk up on me from behind and I'm not really a fan of that. So yeah, it really didn't make a break on whether or not I chose Charger over Challenger, but it was something that I felt like I could mention in the video for you guys. So I also want to give you guys another fact and that's insurance related. So obviously the Charger is a sedan and the Challenger is a coupe. I think we all know that sedans are a little bit cheaper than coupes. <laughs> But obviously the make, model, and year would come into play about whatever your rate may be. But I'm sure that if you compare the Red Eye Charger with the Red Eye Challenger and you compare the two prices, I'm almost certain, don't quote me, but I'm almost certain that the Charger will be cheaper. So now we're gonna move over to trunk space. So I've seen the trunk of a Challenger and honestly, I feel like it's very small. I feel like it's a little deeper but I feel like it's still small and I love trunk space, especially when I'm going to the track or I'm going out of town or I'm taking a road trip. It would be nice to have extra trunk space because I don't want to put anything on the leather seats. 
I overall think that there's just more space in the Charger alone than the Challenger, especially on the inside, and here's why. Now, personally, I'm just one of those people that like space. Who wouldn't like space in the back seat, right? Now, I can honestly say that there is no room in the back seat of a Challenger. Trust me, I've been in the back seat of a Challenger. There's no room. I have two big dogs. I have two pit bulls. And just the thought of me trying to get them in the car and then scratching at the paint with, with their claws down here on the Challenger just makes my head hurt. Again, I just like the space, you know, like if I want to take a road trip, I want to have my grandparents in the car or anybody else. If I want, you know, to have a trip with more than two people, I could have more than two people and, and it actually be enough room for everyone. Now, this is something small. And I know that some people in the comments are probably going to have something to say about this because it is something so small. But... I don't know why, but I personally, no shots fired, no shots fired. I personally do not like the font on the gauges in the Challenger. It just looks close together. I just, I just never liked it. I've never really, I've never really been a fan of it. I personally do like how spread out it is. It just looks neater. I don't know. It just looks, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's something so small, but it just looks neater to me. And again, I just honestly think that there's just more space. Just look at how neat that looks, you know? Overall, I think that I just love the look alone, you know? It just looks, it looks aggressive and I like aggressive. <laughs> I really just love the face of my car. You know, I think that it scares people. I think the face alone is aggressive, even from a distance, you know? Um, I love the hood. I love the center intake, plus the brand new look of the redesign heat extractors. It really just has that muscle car bulge. Like I said, no shots fired. The Challenger does too, but I'm sold specifically on the Charger always. So guys, I wanna make sure that I add in the fact that both cars are beautiful. Both are perceived how they should be. But again, me, I'm simply sold on the Charger and was sold the minute they came out with the red eye version. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.